Mark Ellis signs a two-year deal for the Bluebirds. I can't wait to leave this town Cause lately I've been feeling down so what's up guys and welcome back to another video on the channel by me Baron Tor. Yes, I'm back with another video on the channel. In today's video then is gonna be my thoughts on Barrow's new signing in a very experienced defender in Mark Ellis, ex Tramier Rovers player. But before we do get any further into the video, if you haven't already please don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel, it'd be massively appreciated as I cover everything to do with Barrow AFC transfer news. So let's get into speaking about Mark Ellis signing a two-year deal for the Bluebirds. So then the 32 experienced defender Mark Ellis has signed a two-year deal with the Bluebirds from the release from Tramia Rovers at the back end of last season. So this is what the club had to say about Mark Ellis signing for the Bluebirds. So Mark Cooper has clinched a deal for another for another, another of his transfer targets as experienced defender Mark Ellis put pen to paper on a two-year contract at the Progressive Slitter Stadium. The 32-year-old was released by Tramia Rovers at the end of last season but has worked under Cooper before at Forest Green Rovers and the Bluebird Force was quick to make the move for the centre-back. Ellis, who has more than 400 senior games under his belt, started on loan at Nantes County during the final to the 2020 for 2020-21 campaign scoring some crucial goals as they came close to promotion from the National League. A former Bolton Wanderers youngster, Devon Bourne Ellis has made his name closer to his home colours of Torquay United, whom who helped win promotion to the Football League in 2008-2009. to after, uh, after a short loan stay at Forest Green, the combined defender signed, the combative defender signed a deal at Crew Alexandre who had where he was a regular for two seasons before moving to Shrewsbury Town in the summer 2014. A couple of loan moved to Carlisle paved his way for a permanent switch to Burton Park in 2016 before he took the chance to work under Mark Cooper for the first time during another tempor a temporary stint at Forest Green. Ellis was known for no-nonsense approach to defending and his attacking threat for set pieces. Also spent time on loan with Leighton Orient before completing a move to jo uh, Tramier in July 2018. However, when he became a free agent at the end of last term, Cooper knew was keen to reunite with Ellis once again and he was now become Barrow's sixth signing of the summer. In my opinion, we do need we do need we needed a, another centre back. If it well with Tom Davis leaving to go to Tramier, uh, Probably Thomas potentially back on loan now with Burnley under twenty threes. Um, Sam Hurd could pretend. Well, he didn't play last season. Uh, we've got Connor Brown still in the squad. Patrick Brook, but we usually play Patrick Brook as a left wing back. And we've still, well, we've got Romelu Hutton in there, but a, a defensive mindseted midfield uh, centre back that is very experienced to partner up with Matty Platty next season. Mark Ellis is probably the one that you could you couldn't get well. There was no rumours about him being signed, but same with like Josh Gordon, Romeo Hutton, there was no rumours of signing them. But Mark Coop, well, the agents on the phone with the club and getting getting the deals over the line for him is just amazing to see what Barrow have done this summer in bringing in some very, very good experienced players in the Football League but now let's move on to speaking about Mark Ellis careering profile for his career so far so now let's move on to speaking about Mark Ellis careering profile so Mark Ellis he didn't have well I don't know where he started his uh, youth career at but his senior career started at Bolton Wanderers in 2007-2008 playing for Bolton Wanderers playing no games well throughout that he went on loan to Torquay United in 2007-2008 to uh, playing 22 games and scoring three goals and then signed a proper contract for Torquay in 2008-2012 to 
in uh, playing 98 games and scoring nine goals. In 2009, he went on loan to Forest Green, a little short spell at uh, Forest Green, playing seven games and signing a uh, professional contract in 2012 to 2014 at Crew Alexandra, playing 81 games and scoring six goals. 2014 to 2016, signed a proper contract with Shrewsbury, uh, Shrewsbury Patron, playing 41 games, scoring three goals. Throughout that, he went on a short spell to Carlisle, and then in 2016, went back on loan to Carlisle, playing 22 games, and then signed a proper contract with Carlisle in 2016 to 2018, playing 30 games, scoring two goals. That's when uh, he was partnered up with Mike Jones and uh, Patrick Bro. In 2017, he went back on loan to Forest Green Rovers, playing 17 games, scoring two goals. In 2017, he went on loan to Leighton Orient, where seven games, one goal, and signing a proper contract, playing with Oliver, Oliver Banks. In 2018 to 2021, playing 35 games, scoring two goals. In 2021, a, a short term at Notts County to help them get promoted, but unlucky didn't get promoted, playing 10 games and scoring four goals. And now he is signed for the Bluebirds. In my opinion, this man is a is an aerial threat in four set pieces, as the club has said. He's an aerial threat towards set pieces. He can create. He can, as you've heard from there, he can score goals off area off corners. We've got some good players that can deliver good crosses, like Jamie Dever, uh, near well, Jamie Dever, some other players that can deliver. Uh, crosses maybe into uh, uh, Mark Ellis's head but a few more transfer news then a bit of bad transfer news as well but I think Joel Dixon is on his way to the uh, to Bolton he's on his way to the uh, Macaron Stadium uh, to play to be under Ian Everett so, he, he, hell the man was probably yeah he probably was going to go with Ian Everett if he was to be able to take players with him at the end of last season, maybe Quigley would have gone with him, but yeah, there's nothing else that I can really say apart from if you have enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Please do get to smash the like, subscribe to the channel, turn push notifications and be notified every single time I post a new video. And yes, it's not long until fixture. This first day is fixture release day, so that will probably be my next video. Other than if Barrow make more signings throughout the week. But yeah, if you haven't already, please don't forget to smash like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you for another video very, very soon. Thank you for watching, and peace.